Also with us, Senator Roger Marshall from Kansas. He's also a medical doctor and served in the Army Reserve for seven years. Gentlemen, great to have you with us. Thanks for having me here. Senator Marshall, you know, we're always kind of reluctant to use the word lie when it comes to politics. There's words like half-truths and, uh, you know, obfuscation and, you know, not getting the whole story here. But there have been so many, you know, just explicit lies that President Biden has been caught in. Now, do you think he's lying intentionally to the American public or they just don't have a handle on the situation to the point where they can give us honest answers? You know, perhaps it's both. You know, this is what we know, is that the Taliban is giving us an August 31st deadline for all practical purposes. And I, I can't explain all the past mistakes of this administration, but their focus needs to be locked in on getting American citizens out of there right now, that we're not going to leave anybody behind them. Uh, I, I, at first, I thought this was an intelligence failure, but now I realize this White House sees foreign policy through the lens of politics and through polling, as opposed to what's in the interest best interests of this nation. Uh, this is the same president who refuses to talk to the American press, to talk to the American people, to explain why we have 15,000 Americans that are, for all practical pur purposes, being held hostage by the Afghan. The same president that won't say, why are our troops not going in there to, to free those Americans? The British, they're doing it. They're already in there getting their citizens back. We have more assets available on the ground right now than the Brits do. Why are we letting the Taliban push us around like this? Uh, this will be a scar in America for decades to come. You know, I, I guess I'm just so frustrated. It's just inconceivable what this administration has done. President Trump, Secretary Pompeo had a condition-based plan uh, going forward, working with the Taliban. We would we didn't just leave their airport this time. We actually took all the people that can make the airplanes fly with us as well. So we we basically got out of there, leaving them without their own air force to enforce them as well. Um, you know, what are we going to do with all the all the 10 or 15,000 Americans there? How are we going to get them out? How are we going to get the allies of our American soldiers out of there as well? We've received 300 contacts already, people reaching out to our office saying, hey, we got family still there. We've got Afghani still there as well, working hard to get those people back as well with some success. Senator Roger Marshall, thank you so much. Cash Patel, great to talk to you.